Hi, I'm Steve Price, Operations and Technical Director for Permajet. Today I'm here just to chat about the importance of ICC profiling and the kind of services that Permajet offer for anyone that wants to get that perfect print. We're going to just go through a few of the fundamental uh, basics of profiling. and We have a separate video to go through the whole process, but I'm just going to cover as an overview the general errors that we get and things to avoid to make sure that what you send in to us is going to be scannable and give you the very best result from your image. We can't stress enough the importance of using profiles, either generic or preferably custom, which is what we're talking about today. Profile, you may think you don't need it, but honestly, we're there to hold your hand through every step of, of implementing and creating one and the difference can be phenomenal on the end result. So don't shy away from it. We've made plenty of videos detailing how to go about it. But again, I'm gonna show you some things to avoid when you are going through that process. So on the screen here, when you've got our process open and you've got the Adobe Color Print Utility and the charts on display here, um, the common errors that we get are three threefold. Uh, it's either an oversized patch file being printed on the paper. So it's important when you're setting the paper size that you always use an A4 sheet of paper. You always set the print paper size in your printer driver to 100%. No scaling. Do not make it fit the page. Do not make it borderless. Always choose. You can choose the scaling option, but always type in 100%. That way, we will get the correct kind of chart. Otherwise, we end up with charts that can look very similar to this. And although on first glance it looks absolutely fine, it has cropped uh, the edge borders that uh, go through our machine. And because these squares are all printed oversized, our scanner will not read them. So that's your first one to avoid. Always work at 100%. The second possible error that people can make is always print on the right side of the paper. I know this sounds a bit crazy, but um, things like this will occur where you'll get a very flat, lifeless output. Now you may think that that's how all your prints are supposed to look, but always check with the thumb and forefinger, quick lick of the paper, pinch the edge, and whichever one sticks to the finger is the usually the printable side. And all our papers are put in the boxes, printing side upward. Unless, of course, they're double-sided, it won't matter in that instance. But again, that's number two to avoid. And the third problem we have, which is by far the most common, uh, not turning off the colour management or not using the Adobe Colour Print Utility. The advantage of using the print utility on Windows and PCs is that it avoids any colour interference from your operating system. This is why it was created by Adobe. Um, you're not able to turn off color management in Photoshop and print the charts out. Don't try that. Don't do it through Lightroom. It has to be through this. And by using that process, we get the chart coloring that we need, which has no interference from either the printer or the um, program that you've printed from. If you do happen to be on a Windows machine, do remember you have to turn off the color management in the printer driver as well as using the utility. If you're on a Mac, you don't have to do the turning off of the color management. The program does it all for you. Uh, if you don't turn off the management, what we get is, although an, a chart that fits the page and everything else looks great, these colors are way too pasty and too light. And that's because you've got the printer interfering with the output. That is something that you need to avoid. Probably for every 10 we get a day, we will get maybe one or two that are rejected because of this. So do be wary about turning off management or using the utility, it is highly critical. One other aspect that I do need to mention in this video, I think that's become very apparent in the last couple of years is to all you Apple Mac users. Um, with Windows, we don't seem to have any issues and Windows drivers seem to work perpetually no matter what operating system they upgrade to. Unfortunately, Mac and Apple seem to have taken this route of implementing their own software to control devices. The problem with that is, although very convenient, 
is that things like your printers, um, when you first install them, they grab get, or get grabbed by the AirPrint driver, which is a Mac uh, device driver that's preloaded on your system. The problem with that driver is it's built for very basic output printing. So although your printer will run and it seems quite normal, we do get a lot of customers phoning our technical line who are usually Mac users who are finding colors don't look right, the quality controls are missing, and paper options are missing. And this is a very, very common, important thing. It's important that when you buy your printer, you immediately go to the manufacturer's website and download their official driver and you run it as an install and add your printer selecting that manufacturer's driver. Do not let the um, Apple device add it automatically because it will add its own air print driver. If you're unsure about this, we do have a short video covering this aspect and you're very welcome to contact our technical team at any time through any aspect of profiling or setting up your printers or just getting the very best out of Permajet products.